The story begins with the carbon. Carbon is widely recognized as the most adaptable element on the planet. It has several diverse qualities that may be used in the many ways that depending on how the carbon atoms are organized. Carbon was found in the forms of the graphite in 1779 and a diamond 10 years later. The next evolution in the carbon did not occur until roughly 200 years later. In 1985, Cartos, Mali, and Quell discovered the fluorite, and they were awarded the Nobel Prize in the Chemistry in 1996 for their discovery. A few years later, carbon nanotubes were founded. The present cruise for the carbon nanotubes is direct connection of the result and discovery of the fullerene C60 and other types of fullerenes. Revelation that carbon could form the stable or the structure other than graphite and diamond prompt scientists all around the world to look for other forms of carbon. When it was demonstrated in 1919 that C16 could be made in the simple arc evacuation devices and widely available in all laboratories, the push was given fresh momentum. In 1991, Japanese scientist Kenya Mishima found a fuller and related carbon nanotest with using the vaporator. The tube had at least two years into the world's record with multi wall carbon nanotubes and which has typically 3 mm to 30 mm out of diameter range and they were always close on both ends. In 1993, a scanning of certain multiple carbon nanotubes was presented. A new type of carbon nanotube with only a single wall was identified. Single wall carbon nanotubes are often thinner than multiple carbon nanotubes with diameter typically in the 1 to 2 nanometer range and are curved rather than straight. It was quickly discovered that these novel fibers have a variety of outstanding qualities prompting a rise of carbon nanotube research. However, before legume of discovery, nanoscale carbon tubes may catalytically have been known for many years. The fundamental reason that these early tubes did not occupy the public interest was because they were architecturally low and lack fascinating features. Recent studies have been concentrated on enhancing the quality of carbon in the general world. Prior to 1991, carbon were created and studied under the numbers of certain. However, many people think that Lazy Mark 1991 paper is especially significant since it brought carbon nanotubes to the attention of the scientific community as a whole. So we wrap up this video in here because I think this topic is huge and vast so I divided this topic in multiple subtopics. So next video will be on synthesis of variety methods of carbon nanotubes or um, the applications of carbon nanotubes. So until then you stay tuned. Bye bye.